it's a little cool. We got the motion decoys out. I'm thinking if there are birds in the sky, this is where they're gonna wanna be, so. Two, baby! Gosh, baby, let's go! That was a snipe. <laughs> nice, I'm dead. Good. What are you hitting, baby? Set. Set. Take him. I'm also kind of cold, too. I don't know about that, dude. You're, you're fired up. That gets your, your blood flowing. Shooting guns always fun. All right, we're on the way to the blind, and this is going to be an incredible episode. There's a lot that's going to happen here from audibles in the field to getting Zach's story to even our camera guy Colin taking his very first shot at a bird in the wild. So uh, let's have some fun, and we'll share with you more. Right now, we are on our way for the morning hunt to an A-frame setup that you have seen previously. Uh, we will see how it goes. All right, we're back out here, morning number two. The birds are in the air, so we're gonna unpack this thing and get going. Um, it went really good yesterday afternoon. Hopefully, we can scratch out a few this morning. Uh, that would be ideal. You know, it was pretty, it was very slow. We didn't even fire a shot yesterday morning, but that's part of the game. We're excited. How you feeling, Zach? I'm feeling good. We're gonna put some motion, motion decoys out there, so hopefully from the birds we do see, we'll, uh, Lure them in with a little water motion. I like that a lot better than what, what, what we uh, had set up yesterday. Oh yeah. All right, I don't remember if we showed you yesterday our setup, but we've got a dog on this end, and we've got a dog in the middle of the blind, and we're just running these rig them right blinds. But uh, I like to have my dog close to me, just in a lot of situations. But all I'm doing is literally just putting her right here. And that gives her a really, really good view of the birds coming in and we'll kind of of course close that off to where she can see out the bottom um you can do it a bunch of different ways but that's just how i'm doing it on this hunt i change it up every hunt but um again i want to show you the thickness of what we're dealing with we walked out through it yesterday but it's just it is crazy yeah how thick it is so i'm really happy with the dog's work, and I'm super stoked about Zach and his dog, Eve. Uh, they've crushed it. That dog is really doing a good job, um, and both dogs work well together, and you know, that's something that's really cool for us is, and for me, as the owner of CGA, or the, one of the owners, there's a few of us, is that I can come anywhere in the country, and I can connect up with a member, and we can go hunt, and the dogs be good, and we have a great time, so. Um, I'm pretty stoked about today. I'm, I'm ready to get after it. But anyways, that's uh, just something I wanted to share with you. And uh, let's see, maybe we can share some bird smashing. Feeling good. Not a whole lot of wind to work with, but that's all right. It's a little cool. We got the motion decoys out. I'm thinking if there are birds in the sky, this is where they're going to want to be, so hopefully we can make that happen. Go for the neighbor's hole. You got to cruise in, give them a look. I bet you they don't have a squirter running over there. That's so true. he's going to look down there and be like, why isn't there any water flying in the air, you know? <laughs> I'm still trying to find this though again. Calling back at you. Went back behind us to the refuge. I'm really just waiting for Colin to let us know when the birds are going to be here. Right. We're waiting on <laughs> Watch this one out front. Two in front right, front right. Oh, they're going away. And one swinging in. What's that? One swinging in from the right. Awesome. Who wants it? That's a 
green head on the right. He's coming in. He's gonna finish. He's gonna finish. All right, get ready. We're gonna take the shot here. Shoot him. Here he can. That was a bug. Nice shot. That is one way down. Two, baby. Yes, baby. Let's go. That was a nice shot. <laughs> that was wild. Hey, hey, hey. hey. All right, girl. Come on in. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Let's go. Back. Let's go. Yeah, so this corn's so thick. A lot of times this is what we got to do, especially like man, because you just got limited opportunities like this hole here to, to kind of handle them. Whipping them past that, man, they've Unless they're taking really good long casts on the last cast you give them, they're not going to get there. So I like to try and give them a little bit below the wind and just encourage them into the area of the fall as much as we can. And also hope that the bird is dead then. Hunt him up. Hey, that a girl. Eve, here. Eve, here. That a girl. Good girl. Good girl, Dad. Nice. Look at those orange feet. Pretty bird. Let's go, baby. There's no more. There ain't nothing prettier than that right there. A little double curl. Big old green head. That's a good one there. Look at that. That's beauty right there. Man. Look at that. I was just about to holler at you. Eve, kill him. Oh, I heard some ducks ever. Kill him. Good. That was, a, that was a fun deal right there. On the board, fired up, ready for the next one. I'm like, this is it. And if he doesn't do it, we at least got to shoot. And Josh smoked <laughs> I definitely shot, I, yeah, I definitely shot one. I didn't hit it. That was not me. Jared didn't shoot. Only one victor there. <laughs> oh no! Well, we can mirror you. You mind if I go on this one? Back! Run it up! Good girl, good girl. Good dog, good dog. Dad? Good job, good job. All right, nice little surprise teal. Good job. Good job. Natural, already pointing at the camera, ready to roll. Ready. How you feeling? That was awesome this morning. So I'm feeling like we're, we started off a lot better than yesterday. Definitely. I think, the, I think the motion helped a lot with the no wind. Yeah. And the taking it easy on the call. Yeah, they like seem to one. like appreciate that more. I guess that didn't matter with the teal though. <laughs> you shooting that while we're out working. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. out of the blind besides you yeah, for that. Yeah, that so. little, got him. It was, uh, it was sweet, but I'm stoked, Eve. Crushed it out there. Violet, I felt very good about her. She crushed it. So. You shot both of these birds. I guess I did, yeah. He's the shooter in the group, man. <laughs> I'm always, I've always got my eye out there, always ready. Well, we're back. We're back out. Ready to roll. Let's get it. I mean, uh, we're in a different blind now, so you can come over here and look. This is the place we came the first um, evening when we got here. And the birds wanted to be in here too yesterday evening, so we're going to try this. This will be a different you know, feel, but it's going to be great. We're in the same, uh, same hole, actually, same cornfield, just different spot. And the dogs are ready. I'm ready. I think everybody's ready. So let's see if we can uh, scratch a few more out. There's some ducks working right there, boys. We better get in the blind. They're definitely looking at us, but what we're trying to do right now is brush in the dog blind. Um, we're going to put both dog boxes <clears throat> on the same side because we don't have a dog box on each side, but um, Polaris is going. We've got ducks flying, which is earlier than yesterday, so who knows how this is going to turn out, but I think it's going to be great. But let's get this dog blind brushed in. Here they come, boys. Oh, 
Yeah, I used to, used to where my gun is now. Three dropping in hard and fast towards the hole from the right. And they pulled off. That was a pretty descent though. So as soon as we shut the door, the birds started swarming in. It was pretty much go time. And I've got to tell you, the intensity level on this blind right now is pretty high. We're all on edge. We're all waiting for the first shot to be fired of this afternoon hunt. We didn't have a good breeze. All right, we're settled in now. We've actually got both dogs sitting out. We brushed in our blinds and then we made a last minute change. We've got both dogs just sitting out beside each other. Um, we wanted to give them the best view of the ducks. So we're gonna see how that goes with the excitement, see if they handle it well. I think they will. And you know, we're about to smash some birds. They're all over us. So um, we're just waiting for the first ones to make the plunge. How are you feeling, Zach? I'm feeling good. Dogs, I think the dogs finally got it figured out. I see, I see Violet's head sitting there looking out. So I think we got to figure it out. Yeah. It's go time. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, and not you don't normally run dogs in that scenario in duck blind sitting side by side, but I like doing it. You know, changing things up, doing things different. It's fun. So um, cover over here is thick too. So same setup. If you know, once they enter, you know, the water, the corn is well over their head. Um, if not over our head, so it's pretty deep. So we may, or the corn is the water's not. So we may end up, you know, if we shoot some birds, we may end up going out there, or we may just make them sit till the end of the hunt and then go clean up later, depending on how hot it gets. You know, we don't have to be trudging out there and preventing us from getting more birds. But um, I would say so far, this has been this has been incredible, an incredible first hunt of the year. So we're uh, we're stoked. Oh, back in front. Yeah. So as a handler, how I'm approaching this, I'm walking out, getting ready to handle my dog, and it's a really tough spot because sometimes these birds are landing really to where we're going to have to push our dog well into the cover. But at a certain point, uh, and you'll see later in this video, as you get into the corn, it's so disorienting that once you cast that dog and they go, it's really hard to maintain a line, especially way on out there. I try to handle my dog from the blind if I can. Hopefully the bird landed on the edge or in actual, in actually the hole where it's there's not so much corn uh, but in this case as you can see I do a couple of casts and then I go ahead and ease my way out there that way I can get to where my dog can see me uh, and hear me better because out there sloshing around and in the corn it's disorienting it's hard to hear uh, so sometimes as a handler you have to help your dog you have to get in a position to help them be successful please here Dead. Oh, this is gonna break down. All right, so our plan to have them sit side by side kind of got a little chaotic. Um, we had a break, but we picked up the bird. We got more birds covering us, so we're gonna see if we can work through that. If not, we're gonna change our setup for them. Dropping in, dropping in, dropping in. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Kill him. So I'm not gonna lie. This is when the hunt gets exciting. There's a lot of chaos. The chaos of the hunt. And as you can see, we're communicating to our dogs from within the blind. The dogs can't see us. We can't see them. So I love this. Sit. I ain't got no shells in my gun. <laughs> Nice, Mark. Eve. Nice shot, Jer. Yeah, on the tree. Yeah, she's out there deep. Over here. Over here. Over here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Over here. Eve, you're gone, man. Eve, Eve. Over, over, Put over. Good. Uh, come up through the hole. Oh, sorry, baby. Eve, dead. Good girl. Ooh, oh, that's. <laughs> Hey, good girl. I thought for sure that one had a band on it, Jared. Hey, sit, sit. 
it. That's pretty. It's a good problem to have. Shooty. We got more working though. Big ducks. Good. Are you sitting down? Yes, sir. About done? All right, she's, I think she's getting the message. Got four packs. Ready, right here, Josh. Okay. I'll take these two little ones. I just let them get too deep on me. It's all right. That was terrible shooting. Yeah, not. That's the best there is. What's that? Oh, they're dropping them on the right. On the front. In front. You say if we don't shoot good, you're gonna have to shoot? What's that? I thought Dustin said something if we don't shoot better, he's gonna have to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, feel free. I want him to sit right on it, right in the hole. Let's let him sit. If we're, if we're gonna if we're gonna shoot wood ducks, right, wood ducks have to sit. All right. We'll shoot them if they really tempt us. If they really did. <laughs> well, 60 yards is about Josh's distance. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt, man. Oh man. Lots of woodies. Man, it's getting intense here. Just waiting for that moment. We got two mallard hens just sitting right in front of our blind of the decoys that are just working for us. Come this way, come this way, come this way. Oh. <laughs> that one more. If, <laughs> if I had this corn broken down like later in the season, man, I'd take that swinging shot out the door. That's a fun shot. That's how I got this, uh, my first, uh, mallard band but well my only mallard band was we just we like we shot into a group and then like I usually don't shoot if we got a lot of people here I just like watch where they're going yeah. and whatnot but I had uh, just a drake that was just swinging left right around the edge of the blind and I just like shoved myself out the door Pop. and swung my gun around the back of the blind hammered him <laughs> it was sweet man best part was it was a no doubt band for me I think I'm do it you're ready come on Take him, take him, take him. So as the hunt continues to go on, we remind our dogs that they have to remain where they're at. We give them a couple of sit commands, letting them know, hey, stay where you're at. What I'm doing here and what we're doing here is we're upholding the same standard that we train to. Uh, you know, we're not going to let it slide on the hunt. We're going to make sure that they perform like they should. And as you can see at this point, it only took a couple of volleys. They start to get dialed in and both find their groove on how to work side by side out there on that platform. Nice. Yeah. Good. Forty him, baby. All right. There's that single we're talking That's about. That's what we're talking hey. about. Hey, Hi, girl. Another him. Good girl. Dead. There we go. Hey, chill out. Chill out. Wait for more. Oh, we got pretty ones around the eyes right there. I love that. <laughs> Sit. 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 So as a handler, what's going through my mind as I'm sending my dog here and I get out to handle, I am just watching to see, okay, that bird fell, but is it a marked retrieve or is it not? So I read, read her body language and quickly figure it out it's not a completely marked retrieve. She has a general idea of where the area is. So as she hunts where the birds have been falling in that open hole, uh, we have to stop her, give her a cast and communicate to her and tell her where to go. But so as a handler, what I do here is I wait. And especially in this situation with a thick corn, I give her a little bit, I push her towards where I think the bird is and we hunt it up a bit. Uh, if she gets a little too far out, I call her back in. And from there, uh, I make a decision. Okay, do I need to keep pushing her or do I need to go out there and help her? Because at a certain point, uh, when I cast her, she's going into that thick corn and I can't see her, she can't see me. So from here, we have a lot of birds in on the water. We have a lot of shot wads on the water with a lot of scent. So I pull her back into me, bring her back closer to me, and then I resend her from there. Uh, and honestly, you can tell from this video, when I got out there, it's, it is disorienting out there. I'm listening, when I stop, I'm listening. Okay, can I hear where she's working at? She ended up being a little bit further th to the right by the time I got out there. And that is when we're like, okay, we got to pull her in and get her back into the, to the area of this fall. 
So right here, you can literally just see how disorienting and how thick this corn is. It's really hard to walk through. It's hard to basically see anything. And one thing that's really difficult is there's hardly any wind. So as far as scent goes, you pretty much have to have your dog nearly right on the bird for them to smell where it's at. Finally found this bird. Way further out here than I thought. Dead. Come on, dog. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying for We gave it everything. Everything we have. There you go, that's right there. I, we, I guess we lost one. We got one now. Nope, there they are, right there. I got a good mark on it, but I just don't know if he saw it. He's sitting back a little bit. So should we wait? Wait for cleanup on that? Huh? Well, I vote wait more, for... How many more minutes do we have here? Five. We got Woody Seven. out there. Let's take our last Woody. Four, three, oh. seven. That means... Seven. Seven minutes left? <laughs> we're moving in the right direction. You just did a quick dip down, so I thought for sure there were birds out there. <laughs> Take this hand. Take him. Nice. Sit. Sit. You want it? Yep. Ah. And shooting time. Nope, oh, they're shooting time. Shooting triples. Probably oh, right. But you're still fine now. Violet. You got it? Oh, heck yeah, there we go. Good girl, good girl, please. Here, good, dead. Yeah, I had to taste that a little bit. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Good job, dead, dead. Ah, sit. All right, so uh, we were about to chase after this one because we thought it was running, but um, she got it, so we're good to go. And we've got a Mallard Drake down and the rest are Woody's. Um, this has been a crazy hunt. I would say we worked through a lot uh, and we have had great success on it. All right, let's take and hunt up and clean up. Heel, let's go. Oh, yeah, walking out. Good shoot, man. That was a nice shot. Good time. <laughs> this is how thick this stuff is. You can't even walk in it yourself. Hunt it up. So another tough factor of hunting it right now is there's no wind in here, so it's really hard to get them right on that scent. They're having to really work for it. Hunt it up. Actually, I found one right here, so we'll just send her straight through here. Heel. Come here. Here. Back. Go back. Good dog. Good dog. Good. I'm down the opposite corner row, but that uh makes cleanup a lot easier when you got your dog working with you. Good girl. Here. Good. Turn it up. We're just kind of letting her hunt the area, and then we're scanning with our eyes, just seeing if we can find these birds. We're just kind of working, moving our way down this way, and we're gonna work back this way. I'm just telling her to hunt it up if I don't know where it's at, but um, just letting her use her nose. Come here. More than likely, uh, we only got one, so we thought we had two down, but looks like we only got one. All right, Val, let's go. So as we wrapped up this successful hunt, we decided to chat a bit, and we wanted to share that with you and share a little bit about Zach's story. We haven't had a chance to talk yet because we came back, ate some good food, hit the ground, basically fell asleep after that, and then went out and hunted. <laughs> but Rex Predator Academy, so you have, and this is what's so special, is Zach has his own course, kind of similar to what we do, except it's for trapping. 
You want to mm-hmm. tell everyone? About yeah, so that? it's it's super similar to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, but it's called Rex Predator Academy, and um, similar breakdown, all online education courses that teach you how to trap natural wildlife predators from uh, absolute beginning foundational things, all the way to advanced moves that our teams learned over decades of professional trapping experience. And so, um, we're we're trying to make predator trapping an available skill to really anybody, whether they're already a seasoned trapper looking to go to the next level or somebody who's just you know never trapped before in their life and wants to manage their deer lease better or their deer ranch better and uh, because that's what we are is yeah. like my dad and i were huge deer hunters and uh, we've put in a lot of work to manage our deer hunting property and we're proud of what we've seen as you know trapping is just far away the most efficient way to limit the amount of predators on your hunting property yeah it's like you can yeah. stay up all night shooting them if you want but it's like during deer the season for that, yeah. yeah you don't want to be staying up all yeah. night so that's what that's what we do and we even give people the tools if they don't have if they've never set hands on trap don't know where to get the stuff we set them up with a full startup kit so you can that's just awesome. yeah just a seamless process and uh, yeah trapping there's a there seems to be a big gateway to get into it and so yeah. we want to eliminate eliminate that gateway and uh, and I think we like just like Cornerstone, y'all did a great job of going from you know the absolute basics, um, very detail oriented, yeah. um, like with concepts and just details of learning how to train your dog, how your dog thinks, um, all of that. And um, we tried to <clears throat> you know go into that same level of detail with clear and concise videos that are broken down into that step by step format that just kind of makes it. Um, easy. Oh, and big thing is searchability. Like, yeah. Whenever you need to uh, um, go back, you know, you're not searching through YouTube for like how I do this drill Absolutely. or whatever for training. Is you can go back, you know, advanced gun dog training, and find the exact drill you want. So I think we've done a same good thing for yeah. you. And, and that's a big thing. Like for me, time. And I think a lot of people like time is the most valuable thing we have. Mm-hmm. And it's constantly moving. And you got to leverage every bit that you have or mm-hmm. to the best extent that you can. So. You know, when it comes to trapping, I could definitely see that being huge. Like for me, we do deer hunting as well uh, in Alabama. Uh, I'm a big waterfowl hunter. That's what I love to do. But when the rut's on, I'm going to be out there getting after some deer. So efficiency would be great for keeping that population safe. Um, same for training dogs too, being efficient instead of, you know, you can you can spend hours online trying to figure stuff out. Or you could, you know, take some pros that know what they're doing and take their advice and follow their course step by step. And so I'm proud of you all for, for doing Rex Predator. Hey, you want to become a trapper? Yeah, I'm I mean, I know you seem like a busy guy, but from what you're just saying there, I think he, well, it sounds like got, you be, I, I know a guy. Look, I, I, I know, know a guy. I, I, I know some guys, <laughs> um, and uh, I'll point you to a website. I might be able to get you set up. I might have to check that out. We've, uh, In fact, I know I, I was out there deer hunting, and uh, a black coyote Really? You got Ran the dolphins down there. Yeah. Nice. Well, no, it's the first one I've ever seen. Really? I tried to uh, I tried to take a shot, but I got too excited on that one. And just, I did find out my scope was actually set on 300. I thought I was, you know, we're about 150. I thought mm. it was dead on it, too. I was like, all right, I'm going to aim straight at it. And there it goes. And I'm like, my one opportunity to kill a black <laughs> coyote is gone. But, hey, with trapping, I have more opportunities to get yeah, that Yeah, and you one. get the, yeah, the, those traps are out there working for you every night. That's awesome. All, every night, 24-7, you know, so. Yeah. Man, but black cows, those are rare, man. Yeah. But, but I'm hearing yeah. more and more about them. I can't, I hope we get some more Well, that's the eventually. first one I've ever seen. My granddad, in his 80s, said that he's only seen one in his whole life, so yeah. it must, I mean, that was a pretty much a once in a lifetime yeah. type of deal there, but uh, I'm stoked about today, stoked about hearing, thanks for sharing about Rex, and oh, so what are, where can people find you? Uh, yeah, just online, rexpredatoracademy.com. And, um, Fantastic. You can search this on Google. We're, um, we should be up there. And um, Yeah, so if you are if you need some trapping, you know, if you're a waterfowler too, but you also do some deer hunting, you've got property, or maybe you just got pests you want to deal with, this is the guy you need to find. I think he'll take care of you. And I'm, I'll just tell you, just being with him, he's taken such good care of us. You know, we drove up uh, from Alabama nine hours, eight and a half hours, and uh, they, they have just really taken care of us every step of the way. Like, more so than, like, is like required they're going above and beyond so i appreciate you for that no problem and i'm looking forward to tomorrow morning so we wrapped up today's hunt we've got tomorrow um we'll see what happens maybe maybe we'll get the camera guy calling and see if we can get him firing some shots oh yeah after he just gave us the, the <laughs> thumbs up he's ready to roll so uh we'll see you guys in the morning and uh, i've enjoyed it so far all right man good mm-hmm. stuff good stuff okay. all right we're getting set up for day number three and uh, I think it's gonna be a good one. We're, you know, we're a little tired, but we're fired up. The dogs are a little more 
way back now that they've had quite a few retrieves. And we're about to go smack down. Let's do it. Some hard surfaces. That's quality product right there. You can't get that everywhere. Yeah, it's solid. You can't board. You can't board. A, lot of, a lot of place boards and they got those slick feet on bottom, so you can put on hard surfaces. They run after a retrieve, kick it out, flip over, and hurt themselves. So, get to one good? of things. Yeah, man. Feel real good. I like how it chilled off a little bit, and we got a little breeze. You got the flag blowing, yeah. all these good things. And, uh, yeah, excited, man. I think we can close it out with a few birds. Get these uh, camera fellows out there, hopefully. Hope so. What uh, what, what setup we're doing today? Blind or? Uh, I think we're gonna go back to A frame we were in okay. originally. We got a good wind for it from okay. um, yeah, from the south southwest. All right. So we should uh, hopefully get into them. Yeah. Let's try it. Maybe we can get the camera guys on it. I hope uh, we can get Colin on his very first bird. We're gonna do it for him, man. Let's do it. We're all doing it. Getting our little hole here. Getting the decoys out, ready to roll. Um, it's go time, pretty much. So, it's looking pretty good. Again, that stuff's super thick, but the dogs are handling it well. Pretty proud of them. And uh, I'm ready to get after it today. And I just keep saying that same thing over and over. I gotta come up with some new lines. I gotta get better at that. All right, we're passing the gun to the camera guy, his very first duck hunt. We've got one circling overhead, so we're gonna pass this bad boy right over here to his shooting lane, wherever it is, right here. And we're just gonna let, let it roll, see how it goes. I'm gonna take a camera and uh, we're gonna film him shooting his very first dock. And then it's on the sun. Yep. Sweet. Buckle it. You shot a trap before, right? What was that? You shot a trap. He's never before. shot a gun before. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I've shot plenty of guns. Okay, plenty of moving, flying targets? Yeah. Okay, good deal. Yep. Probably gonna miss, but <laughs> hey, that's all right. Just swing through. Look down that barrel. This buckle's gonna piss me off. Swing through. There we go. Let's pull that down. So I live by the by the roll call of uh. Be the best calling I've done yet. So I'm gonna get you one, Colin. How'd you feel about that? It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Got a first trial run on the way. That pop up feel. That's a good, that's a good thing to practice. <laughs> I freaking oh. missed the safety the first time. I was, like, mm -hmm. oh, I was like, where is he? He's getting his finger on the safety. Get go go go. I like did it because I'm not used to. I think mine on my shotgun is it might be right there, but we got another one right here. If you want to switch it up. Nah, it's fine. Trigger guard and use use your knuckle. Use this joint. Okay. That's a good press there. I like that. And then you know the whole time your fingers outside the trigger guard and you're not. Getting real punchy with your fingertips. Yeah. You just practice pop up. Let's, let's see, sir. Yeah, get that gun squared around. Finger over that safety. All right, ready, 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 ready. Kill him. Pop up, clear, safety, swing, shoot. Safety back on. Oh shit, right in front. God, God. You guys are right in front. Oh, no, we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Get ready, Colin. This is it. Another one low in front. Another one low in front. Low in front, coming in. On the right. On the right. See him. See him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Take him. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> Alright, you're good. Hey, there we go. You gotta wait for that. Okay. Lock. Okay. Let me hold that hand out like this. I'm also kind of cold, too. I don't know about that, dude. You're you're fired up. That got your, your blood flowing. Shooting guns always fun. Right. I'm feeling the excitement. <sighs> that was sure. pretty wild. Definitely I want missed. It for you. I want it for you real bad. <laughs> but, hey, uh, you almost did it. You almost did it. I thought I had it. I thought that second one was it. But apparently not. That's all right. So. Next time. Got a nice haul to bring back with us. Stoked about it. How are you feeling about the hunt? I feel good. Uh, like I've been saying, you all came a long way yeah. uh, to not kill some birds. So <laughs> after that first uh, evening hunt where we got on the board, I'm. I've been just cruising since then. I'm glad we picked up some more the next day. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Got a nice mixed bag. Some good, some good mallards, wood duck, teal. Whole deal, man. Yeah, so um, I'm proud of Eve. I, I know you are. You should be. Absolutely. She's uh, she's a nice dog and overall a really great time. I know you were sweating it there when we were waiting on uh, the first birds to come in. That first, uh, it got a little hot, nothing. Goose egg, then we finally Finally brought it in, and then it got hot in a different way. The birds yeah. pouring in. That was worth it. Uh, but I can't say thank you enough for having us out. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm, so, I'm so happy you all made it, man. It's, yeah. it's been an absolute pleasure for me, man. And Absolutely. Uh, just know you created, a, you created a good product, man. Cornerstone appreciate is the real it. deal. And uh, teaches you everything from beginning to end and the, the important concepts and way to think about how, to, how your dog learns and how to work with them and build success from the beginning. Just yeah. keep going. Well, that's what it's about, and I can tell you're definitely a student of the product. You've put in the work, you've put in the time, and uh, it shows with Eve. She's a super nice dog, mm -hmm. so I look forward to next time, and uh, appreciate you having us out, man. Can't wait to have you back, man. All right, man. All right, so we're wrapping up the hunt overall. Really incredible time. Zach treated us well. His cousin Jared treated us well. Really nice place here. Um, proud of the dogs. Proud of Eve. Proud of Violet. I uh, feel like we crushed it and you know we got on some birds it was really tough conditions as far as weather goes um, hot 75 hardly any wind so I feel very happy with how many we scratched out but uh, stoked about this episode and looking forward to next time